on Green Harry here, bringing you guys a new series of adventure conumism. And um, I'm kind of sorry that I didn't post a video for a long time. Kind of had to go for my midterms, and yeah, it's a long process, but at least I got it done. And now I'm bringing you this game because I like this game. Now, you might be wondering that it sounds very similar to Adventure Capitalist. And yes, it's made from the same people. And I'm, I, I know I don't, I haven't even posted Adventure Capitalist, but I want to do communism first. So let's begin. Now, this game is very different from, <clears throat> sorry, communism, capitalism sound too similar. It's very different because, of course, buying farmers, you need people and potatoes, which that's very simple on its own. But how this game works is if I get enough, I have enough to make these. And this makes farmers. And farmers make potatoes. So, in order to buy these things, I need people, of course. Potatoes, because that's like the base thing for all of these. As you can see, you need the base things to buy stuff. So, of course, you need people making that. And, interestingly enough, if you want to buy more of these, it costs the thing it's making. It's a very interesting process. Also, there's airplanes that usually drop you stuff. Apparently it gave me bullets, but that, that doesn't make sense, anyway. So, of course, we also have science. Well, before we get to that, we, we also can buy the amount of comrades we get per second. Which is very useful because you need people in order to buy things. So see how this whole process goes? It just keeps going down the line. That's how you really get high up in there. Let's buy some workers. So we have different sections. The first part is just farming. Then we're, you know, changing the land, then we're mining, making war, and pills. I don't know why pills, but we're just making pills. So as you can see, we're making a lot of people but per second, as you can see, 65 per second right now. And what we use our science for is people, of course. We upgrade these, and um, specifically what is important right now. Yeah, th these guys have been here for years. Uh, what do I want to upgrade? Make our farmers faster. I like to have some more potatoes. There we go, times 32. I really like this music. It's, like, so good. Alright, now we claim our capsule, which this is where we get all our stuff from, including cards. And then we claim our sciences. Let's buy some clear cut. Buy some roads, some plantations, there we go. So that's pretty much all this game is, it's just, you know, progressing through. And yes, I am level 10, I have played this for a while. So, yeah, I guess it's kind of unfair. Pretty experienced in this game, but I mean, technically every time you level up, you lose everything. So I thought this would be a perfect time to start a video for this. Also, I don't get it. Why do the f why is she already in the army? I'm just like, mm, nah. At least he gets the fashion right, the green coat. I'm just waiting for the green hat. A tip I'd like to give out is that usually you don't want to buy farmers because the communities right now is making more farmers per second than I can buy right there. So usually that's a bad idea. Usually you just want to go for the last one because usually you're getting more from what's making than buying. Here, we can buy some more roads. Uh, we don't have a mine yet. Get some more science. Ooh, upgrade this. And we can have a lot more comrades. And I'll claim this here. Where is it? Airdrops. 50 science, 20 points. Almost to the next higher reward. Okay. Okay, then. So, anyway, that's pretty much how this game works. And so we're going to progress through and see if I can get any farther than I did last time. So I got the cool plants. Then I really want to get trains, because that's pretty cool. Buy more plantations. What do I need for irrigation? Oh, I just need potatoes. So at that point, I'm just going to keep upgrading this. It's gonna make a lot of these, and a lot of these, and a lot of these, and we should get enough potatoes. 
Dang, I'm not getting a lot of supers. Mm. Not there yet. Of course we're not there yet. Alright. So, I'm really waiting for this, because different events happen. And look at the stuff we can earn. Like, well, you have to go up by rank, but... Look at the rank 20, I can get that supreme chest, man. That, that's great. But I just can't do that yet. No, I don't want to watch an ad. Sometimes they'll do it for you for free. Oh, looks like we can do our mine now. Perfect. So we'll let them do that. Oh, we need more plantations. And boom, claim reward. We get our stuff. And that's it's pretty much all you do, and it's... I guess it gets repetitive over time, but to me, not really. It's more like, uh... Hmm, how would I say it? I'm not sure, but it, it's just really fun, because I'm just making an industry. Buy some more sewers. I don't have enough sewers yet. I don't have enough for blasting sites still. I'll have to wait for that one. Look at all the science I'm getting. Hold on. Let's see what I can upgrade. Ooh, speeds up excavators. That's pretty good. There we go. We're gonna need that. I really need a lot more upgrades. Yeah, I should upgrade more of the lower ones. Oh, look at all this. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, look at all those people we're making now. Should be able to buy more things. Like that, yeah. Not enough potatoes now. Alright, let's buy more of these and we'll leave it alone. So yeah, pretty much the game, If you can't really progress through if you're kind of stuck on... There we go. I got a mission done. So, what I was trying to say was, you can't really progress through unless, um, you have enough stuff. So, pretty much, you just want to keep upgrading the last one. Because it's pretty useless just upgrading this. Because, look, I'd rather save my money for more important things. So, there we go. We have a new card, actually, and he is... Sal Salvador. It's always funny because, um... All these people are, like, either mixes of things or just making fun of certain characters from franchises. I, I just like this company. It's just really funny when it comes to that. Okay, so we can get some more blasting sites, but not much. Let's claim our reward, and we get a new tire upgrade. Ooh. Our tire reward is we get this. There we go. Look at all that. Good. Now we can upgrade. Let's upgrade. He's, he's cheap. There we go. Makes your trade output way better. Yeah, I got a lot of guys to level up. I'm, I'm really short on science, man. Oh, I need science. Oh, good. They're making science for me already. Good. Not much, but just enough. Okay. Need more. I need more. Give me more. It's going to be pretty slow right now, but soon we'll catch up. Alright, we're hitting up in numbers. Get that. Get that. Um... Right now, I really want to up... Oh, wait, hold on. Right now, I really want to upgrade my plantation. Because if I get enough, I'm going to get enough um, <clears throat> transports or freights, then communities, and then farmers. Because I just need enough farmers to make enough potatoes so I can upgrade the irrigation. I'm just going to wait for this number to pop up a little bit. Get me a 10,000, and I should be good. Boom. Well, guys, I'm going to leave out this episode. I know, it wasn't really anything special, but 
I didn't really have any other ideas, and plus, some of the videos you have been seeing, if you would call it that, they weren't really getting many views, so I just decided to do something new just to see if it would get much. So, as always, if you like this video, please leave a like, subscribe, and click that bell to never miss out on another one of these interesting communism episodes. And I'll see you guys later. I need more irrigation, but I don't have enough potato. Would you guys start making more potatoes?